Oh, if you have, if you have the bloopers, oh, it's fine. Oh, let me. <clears throat> Three, two. What's up, everybody? Manny Manny's here. I'm here with Jr. and the crew. Catch me on right now. <laughs> but not everyone can cut it. You need talent. So a lot of these guys, I could do that, I could do that. Yeah, but you know, you got an eye line, you got to land on your mark, you got to say your dialogue, and you know, you got to do it the same way from another angle and another angle, another angle, and you got to be on set all damn day, and you know, there's a lot of work, you know what I mean? It ain't easy. And you're fired if you break Manny's rules. I don't need anybody getting high gang banging or like, say like the director's having a bad day or the AD's yelling at everybody, you can't take it personal. Manny's changed his life and he's changed others too. It's always possible to start over and, and aim for your dream. Just doing it, just working Hollywood actors with respect. It's good work. Besides film and TV shows, Suspect Entertainment's actors have also appeared in commercials and music videos. And next on Manny's Agenda, moving into writing, producing, and directing his own projects. All right, hey everyone, welcome to another episode of JR and the Crew, man. We are back for another episode, man, and check it out, man. We got Slick Vic in the house, of course. We got Slick Vic, and then, of course, we got Momo. She's in the house. I made it two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row, I'm finally. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Woo! Where's the, yeah, yeah, my yeah. Where's my applause? Come on, applause. Hey, hey, yeah. Is the local bar closed or what? <laughs> <laughs> the bars are closed dry, for COVID. Dry January. Oh, oh wait, January. no. No, why would I do that? I'm just kidding. I'm just, it's Monday. Okay. <laughs> Come on. But we have a special guest with the man, yes. a guest with us. I mean, this guest goes way back with a lot of people. He's helped a lot of people a in the industry, yeah. in the movie industry, and possibly music videos and all this stuff. But give it up for Manny Jimenez, man. We have Manny Jimenez. <laughs> All the fans, guys, please stay back. No, 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 no. No autographs. I'm going to show after the show. No, you can't give me your reel. Calm down. Don't give me your reel. <laughs> I'm like I'm like shy now because I have been uh, behind the camera for a while. <laughs> so you have to get in front of the camera. There's no such thing as shy, okay? No, we're going to break you in right now. Yeah. No, heck yeah. <laughs> Be ready. Buckle up. So what we do, because, you know, uh, we like to call this episode, well, not episode, but this segment, this segment. you know, like, uh, our icebreaker segment, you know, our guest is on the casting couch and we get to, <laughs> you just let loose, like, you get let loose, but no, we got some questions we want to ask you. Some, you know, some break dancing. Yeah, some break dancing. Oh. Uh. <laughs> but real quick, I want to ask you, I, we all have questions we want to ask you just to break the ice. Yeah, yeah. Let the viewers find out a little bit more about you and then ourselves find out. And then we'll get yeah. in depth later on yeah. and stuff. And we'll get so, into the nitty gritty. Yeah, we'll get into all the other <laughs> stuff. So. My first question to you is, what is the one thing you've tried that, you've n that you'll never try again? And it could be anything. But something you never, you've tried that you say, you know what? I'll never try swimming. again. <laughs> 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 swimming? Did you say swimming? He said swimming. Oh, I, thought, I thought you said women. I'm <laughs> like, I, I did too. I was like, um, but I, I thought I heard swimming. No, I'm married. Okay, I'm married. so, uh, so swimming why? Water. I'm just, I'm cool. Yeah? I'm good. I'm good. But you know, I'm like that too, though. Yeah, I, I don't like swimming. Like, like not even if it's like, like, you know, waist deep or knee deep. I mean, uh, like, my feet. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, I got five feet. nothing that goes over your head. I mean, you know, if somebody's poor or whatever, we have somebody there. But even if you get worried, like somebody might try to dump you in the stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the stigma we all have, right? Yeah. That yeah. Someone throw you in there. Yeah, but I'm there. like, okay. all right. people want to go on the old. boat and all that. I'm Trauma. Cool. <laughs> I went on one uh, friend of ours took us, uh, my wife and I and his wife on like a one of those cruises. Or see, I mean, one, it felt like jail because you have to eat together. And come <laughs> out the scene, and I was like, this feels too weird, you know? And then, yeah. Um, I'll see. So it was. It was. It was bad. I felt bad because they paid and they're like trying to give us a good time. Right. And you're like, like hell no. I'm sorry, I'll never do that again. Man. Oh man. But yeah. But swimming. We well, you know why I don't like swimming. And you guys tell me this. There's two reasons why I don't like swimming. You don't like to get your hair wet. That's no, I know no, that's no, number one. no, no. This is no. This is two <laughs> things. It's, 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 it, when I say this, you guys are gonna be like, you know what? It's kind of true. It's kind of gross. Two things. One, when you're swimming, you have to sweat because you're working. You're, you're, you know, yes, you might not feel it, but you have to be sweating. Because when you're standing out of the pool, you're sweating, but because you're moving and you know you're getting tired, so you have to be perspiring. So you're basically, you're, you're swimming in a, in a pool of sweat. And, and, about and some other stuff. And, and other mokos. Stuff. When people come up and they have a big old oh, snot coming down, they go, do hey, what's up, fool? You're like, oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> and, and something okay. else. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, one time I was at the Seaside Lagoon in Redondo Beach, and all of a sudden, like, I seen a brown thing floating, and oh, I was like, who, who would God. let their chocolate go like that? Oh. And then my cousin's like, that's not chocolate. Are you oh. serious? <laughs> yes. Well, I was, thinking, so I was talking about peace. She took it to another level. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I, I tend to do that. <laughs> but yeah, no, they shut down the whole pool. Everybody had to get out. Like, the lagoon, like, it was Man. done. No, it is gross. But those are my two reasons, dude. Okay. You know, especially well, kids. Just, like, now I'm even with no one. I do it even more. I was more about drowning. I just didn't want to drown. He's like, the fear of losing my life. Not that was just everybody, hey, nah, man. See that kid with the mocos and all that stuff? Nah, I can't swim in that stuff, man. No, the chlorine kills it. I don't care if the chlorine kills it. I feel you, though. Okay. My second question is this What do you consider to be the sexiest food to eat? I don't even look at all food, man. <laughs> but you know what's sad? You know what? I should have re- reset my question. He's everything with sugar, right? He's turning vegan. I forgot about that. Damn it. Oh, yeah, man. he is turning well, vegan. I, I always say now, like, the only enemy I have to th- these days is sugar. You know yeah, no, like, sugar, yeah. You know, but no, so, I think I just love all food sex. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what does that even mean? Yeah. Yesterday, I, my wife took a picture. I was at some place, and she caught me, like, staring at some place. I was real hungry. I just posted it, and I was like, that. <laughs> I do that a lot too. When you go to restaurants, you start looking at other people. Like, I should order that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what was that? Excuse me. What was that thing where? Like, yeah, I, I really stay away from restaurants where the menus don't have pictures, because then it's like, yeah. okay. Oh, you don't know what you're getting. Even though if it's not their food, somehow in my mind, I think that it's okay, and I validate like, okay, this is a good restaurant. The food looks good. Yeah. Or like, I'll go on Yelp or something like that. But I don't even go on Yelp anymore because you'll uh-huh. just mess up your appetite. <laughs> <laughs> it, ca- it has at times. If it says something really well, oh, my yeah. God, Yeah, oh, okay. So oh, I, man. I, I like, Shoot. well, maybe the roaches are gone today. <laughs> 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 I can, I'd rather take bad service. You know, somebody puts a bad review for service. I'd rather take that yeah. than to have something. Something that you read. Uh, that's roach right. burger. Oh. That's some crazy true. stuff. That's true. All right, oh, Vic, man. you want me to go first or the ladies first? Oh, uh, oh, you know, since you know this is my second week in a row that I'm here, I'd like to go next. Is that okay? Oh yeah, go, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> okay, so what is the one thing in life that you regret doing? Like it could be anything. I have a lot. <laughs> like just one one thing, like if so, like somebody Hurt, hurting people. Hurting people, oh, okay. especially okay. my family. Okay. Throughout my whole life. Yeah, yeah, just just constantly. Yeah. So that's one thing that you're like, I'm not. Well, we'll get that. into that. Yeah, we'll yeah, no, definitely. Sure. I don't want to get all like. Yeah, no, 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 no. But that's what it's about. Human, I mean, we, yeah. we want you to be your authentic yeah. self, and yeah, that's why yeah. we're asking you questions. Because yeah. somebody asked me, like, what's the one thing that you regret? I shaving off my eyebrows. Like, out of everything <laughs> no, I've I look ever at done in my life, <laughs> that He's is one that thing that I regret. No, I can't stop looking at Everything else I've learned from. He said, now he wants <laughs> you not, never not, told me he, that. I didn't notice. I'm looking at your now eyes. He's the whole time. Not notice. Now he's paying McDonald's. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he's on the fries. Remember, I'll send more little more. <laughs> <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> I'll send you a picture. Of oh my saying. god, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm so. sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. Oh, but like, it's that, right. you know, that's brave though. Just straight up, like you're just being honest. Yeah, you know? I know that's because everything else I think that in life that I've done, I've learned a lesson from it. And it's made me a better person, right? Yeah. And so I think that's the only thing that I can't get away from. Like, it hasn't made me better. It's, it's, it's <laughs> made me, especially as I get older, like, my hands are not as sturdy as they used to be. So my eyebrows aren't always on point. So It looks like a Richter's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, like, even though there's regret, it shaped us. But like yeah. you said, you haven't found how that sh- helped shape you, right? <laughs> yeah, except for Especially not shaping. <laughs> not <yet. laughs> Shape. <laughs> no I mean, pun intended no, right but there. Yeah, but maybe you never know. Maybe you get a girl. We need a girl with this particular look. That's true. Hell yeah. Commercial yeah. or something. Maybe I like, should get into the industry. Send your, your, your yeah, shots. See, I'm not in the industry. So yeah, maybe if I were to get in the industry, then that would help. Yeah. My eyebrows would help me. Yeah. That, I think that's what that you're that saying. You're doing <laughs> like that older Chicana chola look like that. The one that turned her life around went to community college. Are you putting me on blast right now? Turn around. You're that one thing that changed your life. Like, hey, me, don't do it. Is that my hair tomorrow? With the Altima. No, I had a Maxima. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, same thing. Same thing as the Nissan. Maxima. And they were powder coated rims. Then the Maxima to go by the Altima. Yeah, you were one level up. And then the Altima to go by the Centros, right? Yeah. And then the centrals go by the bikes. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, man. That Next question. So, oh, I had another question, huh? Hold on. Oh, jeez. My memory doesn't serve me so well, so I Sorry, guess. Sorry, I'm going to have to drink so, water throughout. So, I get, okay, like, yeah. It's okay. It's okay, man. You, have, you, you can take a water break. Would okay. you like to take a water break? <laughs> While I look at my question. So, oh, who is the most famous or influential person you have yet to meet? Well, have yet to meet? Uh, Martin Scorsese. 
That's easy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I met Quentin Tarantino. So oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, Vic had mentioned that, you know, you, yeah, you've definitely thought... been around a lot of influential people. So it's I didn't like... get to have the conversation I wanted to have with them, uh -huh. but we have some mutual friends, so oh, I know nice. that time will come. Because I don't want to just be like, but I got to meet him and his fiance at the time. Okay. I'll tell you that story when we go for it. Oh, hell oh, yeah. For it's sure. pretty funny. For sure. All right. It's, it's shout out to my wife's instincts on that one. Ah, yeah, nice. Oh, she made it happen. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, they always say behind a good man is a better woman. Just saying. I, I don't know. I, 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 can't, okay. I can't deny <laughs> that. I don't know. <laughs> my, 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 I, I, I didn't she didn't get that memo on mine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe mine, it's some. Mine didn't get that memo. <laughs> Oh, man. It's, right. it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> we attract who we are. We attract yeah. who we are. And, That's right. and I probably attracted her then. <laughs> no, but it, look, think about it. Yeah, I know we, your we story. About that, Maybe yeah. at that time. Yeah, yeah. Now no, you're that's gonna true. Attract somebody else. Yeah, yeah. That's so true because you, yeah. you know, you, you better yourself. You, you're in a better place. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, even you got a compliment sure. earlier. You know, uh, Monica. She was. Yeah. She she watches him and she's like, dude, I love his vibe on his post. He he seems so sincere. She was saying this like a, he seems like a, a big teddy bear, just so nice and stuff. She goes, but Aww, I don't know why totally he got divorced. Zone. Dude, yeah. we need the competition. We need the pool. We need the pool. We need the pool. That's uh, the Doughboy or the whatever. The Doughboy. Uh, yeah. um, that was my nickname. Pillsbury. Oh, Michelin, yeah. Michelin Man. Yeah. Michelin Man. Yeah. Pillsbury. Oh man. I can picture you in a tire. In, in a tire, <laughs> you know, the mission of the man sitting in the tire. Halloween oh, costume, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna, free, you're gonna freak you out. <laughs> all right, Manny, I got something for you. So, being in the uh, film industry and all that stuff, and you don't see too many Hispanic superheroes. So, the first question is Are you a Marvel or a DC fan? I, I love Batman and Superman growing up. Mm. Well, both a little bit of both. The Dark Knight is to me the top of the line movie mm -hmm. right there as far as DC comic and cinema together. But then Marvel, man, Marvel got down. Yeah, Marvel. Like Ant Man, mm -hmm. Ant Man's you know Guardian of the Galaxies, and then the last Spider Man. Like hell yeah. Like so, it's a hard one. So as a, as a, as a here, so I guess answer. yeah, I guess that's my answer. You know, I think cinematically that Marvel has a better catalog. Mm -hmm. You know, but hey, I want to. You know, maybe they want. I know people that work with these. Yeah, yeah. No kidding. No. I don't want to shoot um, yourself in the foot right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, who would you dress up as? Right? If uh, well, probably uh, if I had a one, it's Batman. So Batman. you're more of a DC yeah. fan. Yeah. So I'll probably. <laughs> DC's in my blood. Yeah. It is. But I mean, you know that the Batman and the Spider Man cartoons growing up. I yeah, mean, yeah, you had a little. It's just, yeah, it's just comic. You know. But I'm not a hardcore comic. um movie like fan of the, like only certain ones okay. right like out of my son is like a geek with all that stuff. He, he i have to watch it with them so he can fill me in because i'll miss a bunch yeah of stuff. yeah so but but i had to if i had to pick one movie out of all of them it's the dark knight dark so knight. i guess it was a that is a good movie that's yeah. a really good movie yeah he's let i that teeth ledgers is um yeah it's just the, it's the greatest one i think yeah he tore it up yeah he tore and it i up. got and i got to know his former manager who who helped him when he moved, came from LA, from Australia, and he'd lend him ten grand, let him sleep on his couch, and once his manager, his was his agent all the way till he passed. Oh. Wow! And I happened to wear wow, a lending joke. him ten grand in the no, very no, beginning. Five grand. Oh shoot! Well, I mean, you know, uh -huh. either way, yeah. that's still yeah, either way, it's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I happened to wear. I was we were having a meeting. I happened to wear a Joker. It was like all black. This mm. really cool Joker shirt. I happened to wear, not thinking. And then it was kind of cool though because I was like, "Dude, I totally forgot. I'm sorry." And he goes, "No, no." So it got us talking about him. Mm -hmm. So it ended up being kind of cool. Oh. And then he got to meet my son, and my son he gave my son advice about business and other. He gave me advice, oh, read nice. some contracts from a really cool Steve Alexander. So um, yeah, so that was pretty cool, like to to hear oh, dope, some dude. stuff yeah. about yeah. Heath oh, Ledger, yeah. you know. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, so the after. second part of this question: If you could pick any superpower, what would it be? Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one. Huh. Um, I'll help you. I want. I would like Invincible Man. Invincible Man. <laughs> I'm gonna help you yeah, out. He yeah. said. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny you said that. That's that dope was one. the first thought that came to my head yeah, right now. Too. Seriously, Invincible Man? Because yeah. isn't that be dope? But yeah. yeah, but then I, I have. Do you, you ever have those dreams of flying too? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's like the old school Christopher Reeve Superman. I mean, <laughs> yeah. when, my, when I was a little kid, my I would wear the pillowcase and run around. We right. lived in Linwood. We lived in these top apartments where the family was sharing cable. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> like real, real old school, like like 
all we took up the whole apartment, but my mom was scared I was gonna jump off the balcony. Oh jeez. Um, pro- <laughs> so I would probably pick flying, but invisible is kind of cool yeah. too. Yeah. Because invisible is more like kind of yeah, I think it'd be sneaky. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. But then I don't want to be sneaky. I want to be up front. Like Aww. I want to be like a like a, what type like of what? A, I want to be like this where I could just go like this to my nose and somebody does something stupid. Or, oh, or you're like gonna be witch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what like like what like what, what would benefit out of being invisible? Right. Really? But see, I wasn't thinking being yeah. perverted. No. No. I no. 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 I know that. But I'm saying like think about it, like dude being in a room with all the rich people and hearing all their stuff and 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 and, and then after let's say like there's a uh, a, a bet. And I know I'm gonna lose. I'm like gonna switch do it? back to the future stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting yeah. the yeah. Al- almanac. Time. <laughs> but that's not a. That's not a. That's not a. Um, back to the Back to the Future is not a. Um, a power. A, vis- a, power, a visual man. No, I'm power. saying. Remember how you get the almanac? Oh yeah. That, that, see, that's oh, what you yeah. want. To but do. that's yeah. what I would do. Something like Go that. On Jeopardy, yeah. and you know all the questions. Like let's say like <laughs> it's, it's it's the Super Bowl. I bet it on the team, yeah, yeah. and they're about to win. I hit the football. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I won. <laughs> Oh, wow. Right? <laughs> hey, you want to get? I, I think win. you just want to be sneaky. I think that's it. Yeah, you yeah, want to yeah. be sneaky and not get caught hey, doing anything that you want to do. Hey, everybody, <laughs> think, man. Hey, but when we come back, man, we're gonna find out a little bit more. We're gonna find out a little bit more of Manny Jimenez. Yes, we're gonna talk about him, Suspect Entertainment, and all the things he's doing, has done, and where he's headed, man. So we'll be right, right. back cool. with Manny Jimenez. Hey guys, Peter Rodriguez here, Production Manager, Mortgage Masters. We're having a great Monday, I hope you are too. I just wanted to let you know that roughly about 70 to 80% of people don't know the interest rate they're paying on the mortgage, because end of the day, it's not that important. You pay your bills with money out of your checking and savings account, not with the interest rate. So it's a great time right now to give us a call and get a mortgage review to so we can actually see. Maybe that we, we can save you some money. Maybe we can go ahead and pull some money out, pay off some debt, lower your monthly outgo in one way or another. Give us a call today. Yeah, that's we our boy. We, actually, we haven't met, but we've been like talking and I've been helping uh-huh. him with his um, TV show. You know the TV show he's doing? Hey, Wait, oh, you probably know the father. No, I know both. Okay, so I know the dad in person and Danny and all them, but, but I'm the Michael's Mike. the, the younger son, one. Yeah, he also serious. Oh, okay, yeah, he's doing the show and stuff. Yeah, then he has day and night uh, serial yeah, trucks and stuff. Yeah, we've been friendly through um, Instagram and on the phone and stuff. So we, oh, cool, like, man. Yeah, you'll be good. Well, definitely, we'll, we'll definitely put everybody together. But hey, guys, we are back, man. And we are back with Manny Jimenez, man. You don't mind if we say for uh, Suspect Entertainment? Okay, cool, cool. Or is it, what is it now? Um, it's still, I've just known for that, but I'll get into that where that's going. Yeah, no, okay. we'll definitely get into that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Because this was the man... The, the legend. The myth, the legend. The, well, he's not a myth. He's not gone yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I can't say myth. <laughs> oh, not yet. <laughs> the man, the legend. You know, he'll be, you know, God willing, in a long time, he'll become a myth. But, <laughs> but he's the man. He's the legend, man. You, you got a lot of people into the industry. And, uh, but before we find out, you know, all how Suspect Entertainment, you know, you know, uh, came about, you know, let's, let's find out a bit more about you and, and where you grew up. And, and uh, because you did say something that was in our first segment that you said that, and I want to talk about that is, yeah, you heard a lot of people. Yeah. So, what, I mean, what does that mean? Uh, well, at first, my mom, okay. emotionally, like, that's mm-hmm. the, the stress that I put on her. Yeah. And I now, because she would always say, you're going to pay for it with your own kids. You know? yeah. <laughs> and my mama used to is, say, is that, what you did, it is will come true? around 10 times. Yeah. Because my mom's uh-huh. cursing me with that right now, too. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Yes, uh-huh. absolutely. <laughs> um, and I think even more, because I went, I went, went down such a dark path, I knew what's there, so I'm on my son. Like, but I was doing it like real angry, like you're not gonna have to do this, you're not gonna have to, you know. And I was telling him the right thing, but the wrong way. Oh, oh yeah, it's oh, not what you right? say, but it's how you say it's it. How you say it. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. So when I was really, but I, I could get like real deep. No, but it, stuff, no, like, yeah, no, no, but I want to talk about that, like, because you yeah. said you went on a dark path. I don't. Yeah. We don't want to know. We don't. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I mean, look at you know, what was the so, dark path? So, so I hurt my family in the sense where, like, first I was angry. Okay. Like my, I seen my real dad beat my mom and all this stuff mm-hmm. when I was a little kid. We lived in Linwood in Southgate in the Huntington Park area. So I, and then he he was alcoholic, heroin addict, all that. Mm-hmm. So that traumatizing, that, right? It, yeah, it hurts. Right. Yeah. It hurts. Yeah. So then he left, and my stepdad came in, and then the time they got married, I remember the day they got married. I remember being a little kid ha- banging my head on the wall, <laughs> like what? just mad that mm-hmm. they Everybody got married, married because wow. I knew. Again, I didn't really understand them, but looking back, I was like, mm-hmm. oh, they'll stay. Okay, my dad's not coming back now. Yeah. They're married. 
right? Right, so right, like right. Because there was still hope for you as a child. It was, right. yes. So then that was done. And then from that point on, I didn't want to hear any, I don't want to take nothing from my stepdad, anything you got to mm. say. Mm-hmm. So there's mm-hmm. that. And then, so basically, I So is that out, where your rebellion started? Mm-hmm. I think so, very okay. young. So I didn't want to, I didn't, I, I took out every anger that I had towards that my dad left. I took it out on my mom and my stepdad. Oh, okay. okay. So and not even realizing at the time that you realize, were doing Again, it. this is stuff yeah. like, Right. You know, after talking with my pastor and therapy yeah, and you weren't understanding anger management, your all like yeah. marriage counseling, family, I mean, everything. So, yeah. so hurting and then getting into, so they moved to another area mm-hmm. and in LA and they happened to move into a gang neighborhood, oh. not realizing it. Right, right, right. right. And then like, I'm this angry kid. So I was mm. like, I was uh, into breakdancing, got all dedicated to breakdancing, then dedicated into skater, being a skater, and then I got dedicated into being a gangster. Okay, yeah. Mm. yeah. I'm yeah. angry, hanging out with other kids right, right. Yeah. angry. That's what you gravitated towards. And then uh-huh. got kicked out of school, going to, ju- to um, continuation school. So I'm hurting my mom at this point, mm. right? And then, not even realizing it till years and years later as we're adults, I'm hurting my baby sisters. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, they're watching How, what me. are the ages? What's the age difference between um, you and your sisters? I, they're in the 30s. I'm 49. So, okay. so quite a... It's, it's pretty close. Words, it's pretty in close. In other words, they looked up to you, well, right? Well, they tell me now, like, they, they go, we, you never made one of our birthday parties growing oh, up. Whoa. That, that, that hurt has me. to be hurtful, I mean, yeah. I was like, wow, I never thought of that. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so... Yeah, it's 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 a it's a crazy it's a trippy story. But so that I you know that hurt them. I did not realize it. Yeah. I hurt my little brother. Hmm. My little brother ended up getting in the gang and all that. And then he had all he and so I look at trip out on this. My stepdad loved football. He loved the Raiders. Mm-hmm. All right, I <laughs> like him loved, already. <laughs> oh, and, he, and he smoked weed a lot, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He grew plants and all that. Uh-huh. And that was way back in the eighties. So but that was that was something that a lot of people did. My stepdad yeah. grew weed too in the back. Uh, but, but here's the thing: I hated my stepdad. Like when mm-hmm. I, I in my head, I'm like, oh, I get yeah. older, I'm gonna kill you. Like that's how angry oh, I was, shoot. right? Now seriously, and then so I hated everything about him. Okay. Mm. So then I hated sports, mm. and then I hated the show Mash. You know that show Mash? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I hate, I hate yeah. it too. Well, that show's not hard to fucking. I swear, and then and then I hated the smell of weed and partying. And then my his birthday was on December thirty first or whatever. So they would have these big old giant New New Year's parties and confetti and party. And then the next day, my mom was like hungover and I had no access to her. Like, yeah, leave her alone. And then I was like, wow. just felt bullied, right? Yeah. Right, so right. I felt like so like he took my mom away from me. Yeah, because it wasn't like my mom can't serve me food anymore. Anymore. She couldn't do my clothes. She's like, you do uh, yourself. But later, it served me well, all that, because I knew how to be independent. But true. he did, you know, I ended up picking up his behaviors of being kind of a bully, right. not realizing it. Yeah. So, but th- the thing is, to answer your question, I, I, I tend to do this. Sorry, man. Go all no, 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 you're, you're good. You're still this the same path. This is your show. I mean, we're just a part yeah. of it, you know? <laughs> no, <laughs> but seriously. so then I hurt my, my family. And then I hurt, you know, girlfriends and my mm. baby's mom. You know, the whole everybody gang thing, you touched. Yeah, everybody touched. Uh, oh, yeah. So mo- really, the I mean, really, it, it, people, the emotional stuff hurts more. Mm-hmm. It really does because you can heal a lot of that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But the emotional scars. Oh, they say words. Words are they're, yeah. they're deep, man. Yeah. So it, it's it's that and um, hurt, you know, even hurting my wife. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. just all that stuff. So hurting. That's why that's the first answer. But it did shape me. It didn't make me who I am. I, I um, but you know, um, but getting into gang stuff. I mean, you know, one of the biggest thing. I'll tell this one story because I think it's important. And um, th- when you get in it, like in the beginning, it's like a honeymoon stage, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Like, so I go from this little lonely loner kid that's like can't get no girls. You're in the neighborhood. It's like boom. You're yeah. all, it's a whole other world. A whole new. Like really, Everything's like, at your fingertips, yeah, like right? I could, I, could, I can, Dang. I get t- how to uh, steal a car, go on high yeah. school chase, you know, um, be with the girl. I got, you know, I got action with all the mm-hmm. girls. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the people are giving me respect, right? Mm-hmm. Like in junior high, I'm getting. It was filling those voids that yeah, you had in life, right? Yeah, and then and like Back to the Future, that was like that's my one of my favorite <laughs> top five. Like I had all these biffs in my life. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> like seriously, like that's dudes, a good like analogy. yeah, and I would like, I like stand, yeah. stand up to them. Uh-huh. You know, now now in the neighborhood, then it become like a Suge Knight type person, right? <laughs> but mm-hmm. as a youngster, they're like biffs, right? Mm-hmm. And I remember, stand, I remember where I was standing. I beat, beat some guy in the corner, and, and he beat me up. But I stood up to him. The thing was that I was always standing up to him. And life mm-hmm. is like that's life, right? right. Yeah, you have to stand so, up to so your So I always say that, like when when Marty McFly. Uh, 
Well, the McFly, the dad, you know, when he punched yeah. Biff, that, that's like punching life. Because think <laughs> about it, when he punched them, that changed the whole course of their that's that's future, right? Yeah, right? Changed the whole it's future. Go, yeah. yeah, so uh -huh. so it was that. And then, so I get in the neighborhood, and we're at this one house, the party house, the girls, the other, and it's always getting shot up. It's the house to be at. The mom, my homeboy's mom, let us, like, party in the garage and oh, sleep okay. there and it's right on the wall and drugs everything it's, yeah. it's access to everything yeah and the mm -hmm. mom's the way the mom my mom's like i don't like that mom why and her idea is like well at least they're here safe yeah, yeah. right <laughs> that's right yeah. but one particular night and i was like looking back i was like producing and directing i had the girls yeah. i had the di you know the location and yeah. so-and-so's gonna bring the the whatever we need to you protect us. Uh, so, yeah, and that's <laughs> yeah. like, that's producing. But I, uh -huh. you know, so I'm doing all that. And my mom tells me, she goes, son, I don't go over there to this house. I have a bad feeling. Mm. She's I'm like, I'm like, man, I'm gangster. I know oh, what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She told me that. Yeah. And that, yeah so I was like, nah, nah, nah. so I, I would remember I was already in continuation school. Mm. So my friend who would have became my best friend was still in regular high school. Mm. So I pick him up, he tells his mom, his name is Gerardo Rivas. He says, yeah, my boy, mom, I take him to the house, we go over there. And now we're in the house, I'm trying to get everybody in the backyard, mm -hmm. and there's these girls there, and different girls, they think they're enemies, and there's like a little commotion with these girls, trying to get them in the backyard, and like four carloads like kind of just appeared. And they're like, what's up? You know, and I thought it was, it was gonna be like the outsiders where we uh, rumble, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're picking up bricks and all that, and the guy, somebody went out and shot one time, uh. and shot my friend in the eye. And I'm like Aww. about 15, 16, and he, he's out right there. And I was like, it was so surreal. Like it was, it, right, right. he ended up dying at oh, the hospital. Man. And I, cr I, I ran home crying to my mom, just screaming like, you know, that, that devastated me for, for many, many years. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can imagine. It, it still hurts, but I, like I said, I went to therapy and all that. Yeah. And, um, and then after that, I think like a year later, his mom died. You know what I mean? And like it destroyed their family. Every, yeah. You know what I mean? And is that um, is that where that, that, that moment just changed everything? Your view? Yeah, it did. It did. Like by the short film, A Second Chance, that's what it's based on. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So it did. It. But you know, the, like our family didn't know to get us good grief counseling, therapy. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that causes PTSD, all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. But and so when I came back, just like the film, I came, I remember going to the wake and everybody's like not even crying. I'm the family's crying, but I'm saying like all the homeboys, nobody's. I'm like devastated, like mm -hmm. the first time I seen like somebody get shot and die. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I go back to the house, you know, the the get together and everybody's party. The where's the hyenas and, and yeah, who's, who's yeah, got, like, like it's yeah. like nothing ever happened. Yeah, and then I'm crying, ah. and I remember the older homie, you know, he walked me out to the mm -hmm. front and he said, "Hey man, you you, you know, you got to pass right now." to walk away don't worry i know you're down i'm, I'm I, I got oh, wow. you and i uh -huh. and then look, again look i just like knives like f that i'm mm. i'm gonna get these fools at, but really it was pride and fear yeah right yeah. you're a little kid it's pride and fear well, like, yeah. and and that's it so from their point on it's like you're in it yeah because it, it was like oh i didn't sign up for this i just signed up for the fun part but that's yeah. that, that, when you sign up all comes along the, yeah. Yeah. after that the honeymoon's oh, over and wow. it's like get to work yeah so that was all in now and then then you you know another home where he dies another and, one. You and just then keep getting deeper and then, and, yeah, deeper. Be, and then i start becoming like a cold-hearted person right? right at that point like i'm hurting my, like i said i hurt my family even more yeah, you hurt your family more you think you more. became like numb to it after a while um, like it was just like the, I, I, the way yeah, of life? you kind of have to right to survive you know you became one of those homeboys that after someone got shot was like yeah yeah, because it was hard to even love them after a while. You started having like one or two that you're really close with, and then the rest mm -hmm. you kind of like, it's 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 a trippy it's a trippy yeah. thing. Because I was see, there's a gang, and again, I'm not proud of any of this, but I want to keep yeah. it real. Do we need to stop or no? No, no, okay. no you're good. Um, <laughs> God, it's not filming. gonna come through right here. No, I'm just like we're filming on set. Like, okay, oh, yeah, we're good. Yeah, um, we have good mics. We have a good system. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it it came to the point where man, I lost my thought. Um, I, I, I'll just pick up where it just became the point where, okay, I'm in it. Let's go. This is what it is. You know what I mean? And and I started just feeling like um, another person died, another person. Died, and this is what we signed up for. And, you know, I'm in it. I'm dedicated to this. And um, you can't show weakness. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, you, you can't show fear. You can't be vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, no, like, it's all that stuff. Yeah. You know, and then it's like, you have to learn the law. I always, always, 
uh, talking about this to a few people, but like you have to learn so much to survive. Those are that. all the things you didn't factor in when you said I'm down. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like yeah. Whoa. You, you didn't know. You didn't know <laughs> that you bought the car, but you have to do the oil change. Like you know, you yeah, have to, exactly. to maintain it all, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, it was. Oh, 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 I wouldn't know what I was gonna say. So there's a difference of a gang member and a gang banger. That's mm -hmm, totally yeah. two different things. So I started like picking up on how you know there's somebody that could get. The, there's a pretty boy homie that could get the girls right. There's one homie that does drugs. There's one homie that sells drugs when the guy gets guns, you know, and so on. And then there's like the entrepreneur homie that does everything. <laughs> <laughs> he gets high, gang bangs, the producer. He gets the girls. <laughs> yeah, the pro he's, exactly, he's the producer. So, yeah. you know, I was just not into drugs. This is, wasn't my thing, yeah. you know. I was just like, I, I love the, I, I got addicted to the adrenaline of the life. Oh, okay. Mm. Right? Mm. And I was just in the, I was a, in the front line gang banger, you know what I mean? I was like, but trip out, like, I started seeing different homies messing with each other's wives. Oh, right? and then it was like, whoa. <laughs> that's a, that's, that's right? forbidden, right? And, yeah. like, and, then, and then I started seeing, um, some of them are passed away, so I, I, you know, I, I won't say things, but I started seeing like dudes that like, dudes at big old prison, dudes like, man, like, I, I seen them like, like straight up like rank it, you know what I'm saying? Run on mm. us and just do things that are like, hey, you're supposed to be the OG. They were bullying other little homies, but then I'd seen them like piss their pants, you know what they I'm saying? They were solid. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, wow, you know, so. You just start like changing you, right? True. But then you're kind of like, wait, I, I, man, I, I'm already in this. How do I get out of it? I'm already stuck. Mm -hmm. And then the the last, you know, my I got busted for two crimes that I didn't do. Uh -huh. And you don't rat, you just write it out. And yeah, you gotta write it out. I, I got, I got, you know. They found me one. They dismissed it. I would read all my transcripts, and I I was like my own lawyer. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, they don't got nothing. Look, they went from 15 years to four years, and yeah. I would, I told my crime. He was yeah. like. No man, I'm taking a deal. He took four. They came back. He did four. Took four years, and this is like in '93, and we're in Norwalk Court, right? Mm -hmm. And I said, like, I'm not taking nothing. I read everything. Like they didn't got, and then they came back. He signed this thing for four years, and okay, yours dismissed. He just goes, wow. <laughs> you're like and I told I'm you, like, I'm out of here. <laughs> and then in the late '90s, so I had already seen all this betrayal, yeah. wind it out emotionally, but I did not know how, right? And then I get busted for another crime in the late eighties, late nineties that I didn't do. Same thing. Oh my God! Now I'm, not, you know, I'm hiding out. You're just always at the wrong place. Yeah. I wasn't even at the There's wrong no, place. So even though just, <laughs> what? No, the, both time I have nothing. In, nothing I was not involved. I knew who did it, and they, but so you, just, you were really innocent. I really yeah. was innocent. Yeah. So yeah. they just wanted to pull you like in to see if you're a rat or something. Nothing. Yeah. Uh -huh, I, nothing. Yeah. I had nothing to do uh -huh. with these things. Yeah. So the next case. You know, late, you know, minute, and I, I remember I'm already been like the three years trying to figure like how to kind of get out yeah. of all this. I have two daughters, and you know, and and, and I'm now I'm hurting my ex-wife and hurting mm. my daughters, not realizing it, right? Because right. even though they're little, they they're yeah. taking they on that up. stress. Yeah, for sure. They're taking on that. They're stress. watching it. Yeah. They're watching uh -huh. you, man. And um, so now you know, now I have my my new who's my wife now was my girlfriend pregnant with my son. And my mom's alive, my grandma's alive, and my brother's there, and I'm fighting this other case now, home invasion. I did had, had nothing to do, and this lawyer mentor, Shirley McDonald, she tells me, she's been trying to mentor me, right, through her nonprofit, and I'm like, she's like, you have something special that all the, a lot of these guys that I work with, they're like, they're institutionalized. Yeah. You have something special. You could do more. And I'm like, man, screw up. You know, I'm going to be on America's Most Wanted. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, and, then I, and then I get busted on this case. I'm like, hey, remember uh, you said you believe in me? Yeah, Help me. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And she, believe in me. <laughs> and she, she looks at, she goes to court. Oh, they, you no. know, they showed the six-pack photos. She said, uh -huh. they said, they picked me out. They picked you out in the lineup. She mm -hmm. comes, it's going to take a miracle for you to beat this case. At this point, I was like, I start praying, God, help me. Yeah. Um, if I win this case, I will change my life. I will do everything. I, I will, like, dedicate my life. Because, you know, when I ran from the cops before and hide in somebody's chicken coop, I would, oh, God, help me out. <laughs> and the next day, I will be doing it again. But this time, I was... a different kind of prayer. It was a different time. <laughs> no. time. And yeah. the guy's putting everybody out in court, and he gets to me, and he says, Your Honor, I made a mistake. And then the DA said, oh, are you scared of him? Didn't you? And, and the judge says, oh, you pointed everybody else out. And he goes, no, the guy that did it looked like him in the picture. And that's not the guy. And my lawyer ran with that, and the case got dismissed. Oh, wow. And it was cool about it because there was other other homies in the that were shotgunned up, parolees. Me too, me too. No, no, no. They were laughing at me in the corner of my eye, and I'm just like, I, I got bailed out, so I'm in my doctor's trying to <laughs> look straight ahead. But what 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 I mean was that they were in the courtroom and co-signed that, hey, this fool got off legit. Yeah, 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 you yeah. So, yeah, say? so, so my street yeah. cred was like. Yeah, Whatever yeah. that means. Yeah, you didn't but, sell you know, nobody out. Like, like yeah, uh -huh. so I was like, yeah, yeah, you got up legit. So I was uh -huh. like, so basically what it did, it gave me courage to say, when I put in work, I you know, I did yeah. everything I needed to do in that life. 
I got busted twice for some <laughs> stuff I didn't do. You're right. I didn't ride. I'm gonna go be a dad, and whoever got a problem with it, like, uh, do what you gotta do. And that was I'm it. Out. Yeah. Because if the the thing was, if I stay, I'm guaranteed death, or I'm guaranteed to get time at some point. Yeah. Right. And just guaranteed. That is yeah. the outcome. That's, That's the outcome. Yeah. yeah. It's the outcome. Or, or in Inevitable. a wheelchair. So I said, well, at least if I do this, there's a chance that I could actually make it. Mm -hmm. Right. And what I did, and, and this is the thing, I, I don't know if we got to go, or what, but I want to talk about that transformation. Remember, we talked about yeah, that. About and that's what I learned, and I didn't know about it going through, but I committed. Remember, I said I was committed to skateboarding, break dancing, mm -hmm. and gangbanging? Well, now I'm committed to being a, a family man, and there was no half stepping. I was schooled, yeah. there's no half stepping. If you're going to do that, you right. got to do it to the yeah, fullest. Right, right. And that's, that's what nice. I did. I dove into that, and it was no going back, like at all. Yeah. Well, what we're going to do real quick, we're going to take a quick break. Yeah, yeah. And when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about that the and the transformation into Suspect that's Entertainment right. because I believe that's when everything started happening and yeah. you started just taking off with Suspect Entertainment and actually really helping out other homies yeah. when they got out of jail or whatever to, to give them something to look forward to and change their lives. Hope. And let's hope. Get, yeah, hope, hope. Hope. And yeah. we'll get into that. So we'll be right back, guys, we'll back. with Manny Jimenez. What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Momo. Just want to give a quick shout out to all of our sponsors. We got Mortgage Masters. We got Black Widow Investigations. We got Mikey Boy Apparel. And last, we got Victoria's Vita. So don't forget, support us, support our sponsors. That's what we got. I know you have a lot of powerful stuff to talk about, but we are back right now with Manny Jimenez. Suspect Entertainment. Uh, all I'm thinking about is I didn't get here at 5 <laughs> <laughs> Are you still thinking about the eyebrows, though? <laughs> okay, okay, we're good. Oh, it worked, right? I got them off the eyebrows. Got them off the eyebrows. Okay, great, thanks. But no, man, so you, you, you know, I want to get to Suspect Entertainment with you, you know, all because. The transformation. And the, tra well, the transformation, yeah. because, you know, you, you, yeah, you, you grew up in the streets, man. And, and yeah, it sounded like, like a, a, a lot of people that come from the urban communities, a lot of their stories, man, where, you know, it's where we're living, so we adapt to the environment. We become what we are a part of at that moment. A because product of your environment. A product, say, right? yeah, uh -huh. product of our environment. Uh -huh. and, and But yet, at one point, you know, you started something that just made history. It made history oh, wow. in the entertainment industry. I mean, I, years ago, when I got into the industry, and that's like over 10 years ago, I heard of you, Suspect Entertainment, but I couldn't get in because I wasn't a gangster and stuff. So I just, <laughs> I couldn't show up. I was like, hey, what's up? I saw the list. I was like, damn, these fools are serious, man. <laughs> but you, did, you didn't start it just to get famous. You started because you said it was hope. So yeah. No, no, it wasn't fame, much opportunity, The fame was right? like whatever, you know. It was, um, well, I started... I mean, look at I'm I, I'm I'm done with the gang stuff, right? I'm like right, trying to right. be a dad now. My girl's pregnant. I'm trying to get a job. Nobody will hire me. We both applied at Toys R Us. She gets hired. I don't. <laughs> so that was a bummer. <laughs> and then later they called me for like seasonal. So then she quit. And but I'm like, what am I gonna do? This is yeah. like, it. it's all right, right. The military, like I don't want to wake up early. You know, I don't want to go back to school. <laughs> I don't want structure. I, I was like, I, you know, and I was like, oh, boom, childhood dream. When I was just running around with the put pillowcase. Right, oh, okay. Superman, Batman. Oh shoot, yeah. Back to the Future, The Outsiders, okay. Grease. You know what I'm saying? I love Outsiders, man. And it's just like, oh man, that's what I want to do. It was just like, boom, that's it. That's yeah. what I want to do. And I'd have a license. Mm -hmm. This is what I, this is what I felt. I'm short. I'm a gangster. I don't have a license. I don't have money. I don't have a bank account. Mm -hmm. And all I knew how to do was like was still like right. that was done. So <laughs> yeah. what am I gonna do, right? <laughs> right? So I got the Toys R Us job. And my, we had to schedule it when my girl could get her mom's car, when her mom didn't need to right, work. Right. <laughs> yeah. We didn't have the internet. We we're like, I just right. knew that they film in Hollywood and downtown LA. And the reason I knew that because my mom would take us when we were kids. She was fascinated with movies and oh, wow. Jack Nicholson. Okay. So my mom, look at before my mom died, this is the things I got from. I cherry pick from all kinds of people. Mm -hmm. My mom was helping people, uh, uh, movies and television, and um, and gut instincts. She told me that oh, yeah, from the very beginning, from the, as a party. little kid, yeah, from the oh, party, uh -huh, uh -huh. even though I didn't listen, like, yeah, so it was all uh -huh. those things, so right? Right now, I'm in Hollywood trying to figure this out, and I'm watching, like, but I still had like low confidence. I'm watching Jay Leno, Will Smith said a story, and Robert Duvall, and then Quentin Tarantino said something about, like, it doesn't matter where you came from, and I'm like, because I thought, like, oh, you have you been convicted of a felony, and all that. 
Yeah, you, know, you had to check the box back then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah. had to check the box yeah. back then. Well, now I always say Hollywood's the only industry <laughs> that doesn't do background they check. They don't care. <laughs> yeah. So I, she would drive me pregnant like we were about to do a robbery. <laughs> That's how it was. <laughs> scouting the area. Yeah. She didn't go. There's a thing. Boom, drive in. They drive, just go around the <laughs> block. Or make it fast. Jump out. <laughs> That's how it was. Like the energy was like, just keep going around the block till they come back out. And I would okay. get rejected, rejected, yeah. rejected. But I was like, that's one thing about me. If I said my strength is tenacity, big time, okay. like no mm -hmm. matter what, like once I, like I commit to that, I'm like, it's over. It's yeah, a wrap. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. do it. You're set. Yeah. So I, I was what I was doing. I was just going every set and they were just rejecting me, rejecting me. But I was like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. And then finally, one day we went, I was like, I got to start hanging around Hollywood. We're going to go see Titanic at, we went to see Titanic at the Man's Chinese Theater, right? <laughs> we come out and there's movie trailers, right? And I'm like, hey, what, what are you guys filming? They're like, oh, Rush Hour. The first rush hour, right? Oh, so I'm like, oh, cool. Like, where's, where's Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker? Like, oh, where they'll be here tomorrow. I'm like, there, I'm in. You know what I mean? <laughs> I said, you I, hired yourself, bro. I'm the, in. The, I swear, this is what I thought. It's like, I'm just gonna come tomorrow. I'm gonna go up to Jackie Chan and Chris, Chris, uh, Chris, Chris Tucker. Tucker and say, how do I get in the movie business? <laughs> That's it. But I didn't have a car and I didn't have a license. And then my my, they we didn't have the access to the car, so I had to call my brother. Hey, bro, you, I'm going to be up. And I remember, I don't like waking up early. I mean, now it don't matter, but <laughs> back then, I'm like, I'm going to be up early. You're going to take me? I'm going to take you. 10. I'm going to be up at 10 o'clock <laughs> early tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to go to the movie business. I'm going to be me, Chris. And he dogged me. My brother dogged me out. Oh, so mad, cussing him out. What? He's like, hey, you're going to be in no movie business. So I, was, so I was like, damn, there goes my shot. But anyway, she kept taking me. I get on a set. And they're like, I, I, I got past security somehow, and I seen all the buffet, and I was like, dang, I got to break in this place, <laughs> right? I swear, you, I was like, you got through security? Yeah, I got in somehow. Oh, I just like, because I'm like oblivious just walking around. You probably just watch, like, you, know, you know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah you know, when you yeah. look like you belong. And then I came back out. Somebody's like, no, go get, get on. We're not hiring. I'm outside waiting now for my girl to pull up. And there's a, a white boy with dreadlocks. He swung his head out. He's like, what's up, bro? Like, hey, how, you know, how do you get in the movie business? He goes, I don't know, man. I'm just an extra. I'm like, Psh. Oh, what's up, man? <laughs> yeah, the yeah, homie, yeah, yeah, what up? Yeah, yeah. So he gives me the number to Central Casting. It was called yep, Senex, Central Casting. But it was called Senex Casting back then. Oh, wow. I call. I get home and call. I didn't have a cell phone. They're like, casting. And I got I hung up. I was like, scared. <laughs> and then I called. You second thoughts? I'm like, man, well, is this is for real. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. It's for real. He's like, I'm going to have to wake up early now. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I I call back again. They're like, union. I go, I need. To, I want to be actual union or non-union. I don't know. And they're like, okay, non-union. <laughs> so they tell me how to, they tell me how to sign up. I go sign up. Now I'm wearing like my court doctor clothes again, right? <laughs> and then they're like, my court you know, like trying to dress casual. Yeah, and they're yeah, like, yeah. want you to play a gangster. You know, like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But I remember, because you know, they say like w making it, mm -hmm. right? Like to me, like no matter what I ever do, like once the, t the when I got on my first two, my two feet on the set for the first time mm -hmm. at Universal Studios, mm -hmm. I was like, I'm, you I'm, made, I'm, it. I made, you it. made it. Like, cause, oh, because yeah. My mom was alive for about another year. Like, for her to just see that, okay, oh, he's not going dope. back to that. And then I was like an extra in this Jerry Springer movie, but you could see me really, really good. My sister told me years later, she's like, yeah, me and mom went to the theater. My mom, mom was like, yeah, that's my son. Aww, Thank you. Give me all the that is awesome, man. <laughs> and, um, yeah. But she was just happy that I was not involved in that stuff anymore, yeah. you know? And um, yeah, that, that, so that was yeah. success to you. <laughs> but that, like that, that, like yeah, I'm done with that. Yeah. So that anything else is straight up icing on the cake. Oh, I like yeah. that. But you know, you you, you kind of get lost of that. You like, you wish your career could be a little bit further along, and you start mm -hmm. having mm -hmm. those like my goes all right, your little pity party. Yeah, because you're sitting on set for like long hours, so you start saying, "Oh my God, dude, is this what I want to do?" It's what I, you, no, you no, know. no. I knew I wanted to do, but I was like, I'm talking about like, as you start trying to create projects after oh. a while. That's where you're like, "Oh my God, like what, yeah, this thing's," and it's kind of good that you don't yeah. really know how hard it's gonna be. Well, how long <laughs> were you doing extra until you started uh, doing? Oh, I did. So I did extra work for a little while, and right away they're like. The, you know, it was um, the show called Resurrection Boulevard for Showtime. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And I was like, oh, I could get homies. I heard somebody said they needed some homies or lowriders, something like that. And I was like, oh, I could get them. And I started meeting other people, you know what I mean? Pretty, mm -hmm. I mean, exactly what Bernice is doing. That's yeah. what I was doing back then. But for a while, though, I was alone, straight up like a loner. Like, mm -hmm. just trying, there was no suspect, no streets to the set. I didn't come through the homeboy industry, you know what I mean? I was just trying to, like, do your like thing. a little pinball. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. trying to figure you it were out. making yeah. your connections just yeah. like you did in the streets, right? I, yeah. But I was getting burned, which I didn't uh -huh. care. I was like, I don't care. Yeah. The one thing I know, I was like, how did I survive in the neighborhood? Yeah. Put in work, right? And that's how you come up. That's yeah. all right. I knew. So yeah. I did the same Survival thing. I'm going to put instinct. in work, put in work, and everybody's going to know who I am. I don't care about the money. And I just started doing it. And, and, and um, next thing you know, um, was a, like a nice group of us. And they, like, and they didn't care where anybody was from. Mm -hmm. 
that did not matter. This is a safe haven. It's like, hey, I don't care where, you know, who, that, keep all that at the door, come do this. Mm -hmm. And it was a gang of people just coming and going, guys, girls, and it was, it was cool. And then problems start happening, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, one, some that they start burning me, there's uh. that. Um, started um, like a couple would have a big old big argument on set in front of everybody. <laughs> oh. Like one of those like oh, El Gacho no. ones. Oh, oh, wow. you know, and yeah. that, and then like uh, uh, guys walking off set with the guns, oh. the prop guns. Oh. And I'm talking about the stunt guns. Oh. I swear, I mean actors look at extra. What did they were Most of them are background. A couple yeah. of people were getting like one liners or stunt, but they were. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> One person who showered in Emilio Rivera's trailer. Whoa! <laughs> oh, <laughs> showered in the Padrino's trailer? Yeah, yeah. Because Emilio, like, took a liking to it. You know, I, you know like, when I got in, the all as far as being starstruck, all I wanted to meet was Danny Trail and Cypress Hill because I was mm. a big fan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, And then I started will. being in all the Cypress Hill videos casting, so nice. that was pretty cool. That's dope, so man. So I'm like, oh, man, yeah. this is cool. I used to, like, gangbang with these fools. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? like, at that time, that's what I'm thinking, right? Uh, so I'm like, all right, cool. I got to, and then I got to meet Danny, um, and I'm in the book with Danny after, like, you know. What I mean? So I got to, and then I got to meet Emilio, and, and then I watched Road Dogs, and became friends with uh, Alfredo Ramos, um, and then Noel, and everybody else. Like, all right, this is cool. Then I started seeing, like, okay, this is cool. Like I'm, like I'm doing this. This is all I'm gonna do the rest of my life. Yeah. I want to make my own movie. Didn't even know what a writer, producer, <laughs> none of that. I said, one day I'm gonna make my own movie. Mm. That's that's dope that was already planned to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. And helping a lot of guys, and all these problems happen. And then, um, you know, my mentors and friends are like, you need to start a, a LLC and all that. I'm like, what's mm. LLC? You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not anything about anything. It started a business. Yeah, man, it's thing. liability, man. They're going to come yeah. after you, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then, um, and then it's, I, so what happened was, so there's all the other, the, there's the principal casting directors, and then there's the extras casting directors. Right. So we would get called by both for different jobs. Mm -hmm. So they would really make the, the majority of the money and we are the way we would make money or I would make money by taking a cut of mm -hmm. the actor or the talent, right? Yeah, right, yeah. So finding this big movie come out, do we need to stop because of that or? No, that's cool. Okay, no, if you guys, okay. You want to tell your daughter to shut the door? I can close this one. Yeah. We're good on sound? We're not good picking on sound, that sorry. Oh, this I'm is the background asking. noise. <laughs> are we good on sound? You're... Hey guys. Oh, he would, he would tell us. <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. Man, oh you're right, so quiet right, over there. Right. Like, He's intrigued. Like man, Jimmy's intrigued. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, 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 so. Okay, ready? All right, right, right. Action. All right, here we go. I already stopped with my sound, but I have a sound friend that's like, a, he's always yeah. on you about Well, you know what, man? But, so. I have to admit, uh, on this set, though, this set, like, even if you brought a group of people and stuff, to us, it doesn't matter. We, we don't care about too much about the sound because to us everything's a part of what we're doing. All oh, right, on, right. So on. yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, Pop. Growing up, and I, I watched you in who you are. Oh man, thank you, man. Thank you. Oh man, thank you, thank you. That's Jimmy G, by the way. He's yeah, a Jimmy G. Yeah. For those of you that, <laughs> <laughs> for those of you that just that, hear the voice that, and don't see the face. By any guest hey, Jimmy, want to come and sit by him real quick? Usually they accuse me of all your. Hey, I'm still, <laughs> hey, look it, I've been in it like over t 23 years. I'm still figuring it all out, still yeah, learning. Yeah. So yeah. But that's I'm dope. Not, though. I mean, you, you, you know, started Suspect Entertainment, man. You're helping a lot of guys in the industry. But at one point, they're just all being, starting to be knuckleheads on set. And you're like. Well, here, here's the thing. So these casting directors are getting all the, 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 the they're getting paid to get us. Yeah. Right, and then finally, this big Universal movie called Ollie G in the house. By yeah. so I have all these casting directors, so they got to do like a bid to try to get the gig. Yeah. So all these different casting directors, hey, send me pictures of you guys. Send me pictures. I'm like, wait a minute, this is weird. I'm getting a call from the principal cast and from the. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, yeah. I get a call from the producer nice. directly. Oh, oh, right? Right? Fans, right? I cut out everybody. Oh, nice. So then I'm like, oh, this is how this oh, works. Yeah. Ah, all right, all right. You know, so mm -hmm. I started really learning, and you know, and some producers as you guys know or uh, people when they need you they're freaking nice to you hell yeah, yeah. they're yeah. like oh what do you need uh, <laughs> no 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 like, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's but, nice to you yeah you, you know because you need some and then after the job's done or whatever like, like who, yeah. who are you yeah. you're blocked <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying like, <laughs> you're like an ex the, boyfriend the phone's <laughs> disconnected i'm like oh yeah <laughs> me many many remember <laughs> you were reaching it <laughs> disconnected or no longer we in service shrimp in the set you know but but so there's this there's this british guy he's a, a producer on this movie it's ollie g in the house yeah ollie g yeah so i watched it 
it. So oh, Sasha yeah. Baron Cohen, that was our first time. We're hanging out with this dude. Paparazzi's are taking pictures of him, and Emilio's on set, and we're all on set, and it's cool. And that's the set that the guy walked off the set <laughs> with a <the> gun <laughs> to buy drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and well, he, he and really got away with it. He took he took off. And no, no, no. He came back, but oh, we're like the, the stunt coordinators. <laughs> like, hey, where's the gun at? And I'm we're like looking for him. And remember, there's no cell phones, none of that. We're like trying to figure it out. Hey, where's so and so? You know, and um, not to be a bummer, but that poor guy got caught a murder years oh. later. And he's, oh, not with that gun though, right? No, no, no. Okay, no, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. And then and then um, so they wanted a yellow. <laughs> <laughs> they, they wanted a canary yellow lowrider, right? Uh, convertible. We got it. Boom. So we're there. Now we're on set. Everything's good. And the lowrider doors open. And, and Sasha hit the drops. Whoop, and the door went. <laughs> oh. And the owner of the car screaming on set. Like. <laughs> and I took him aside. Like, bro, chill out. It's just a car. They go, they're going to pay for it. It's yeah. universal. Like, it's huge. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a And he's oh, going off. And yeah. at that point, I, I told the producers, hey, man, like, I can't. He doesn't want to listen. Like, do whatever you want to. You wanna... So they bought the car. <laughs> <laughs> no way. They bought the car and they sent it to like. To, That's to, gangster to, to, right there. Dang. <laughs> they, they, they shot like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so, oh, so, oh, but but the good. thing, here's the thing though. I never worked with that guy again. Mm. Because, right, because they ruined. Cause... Because he came getting, mm-hmm. he got street with me. He got street with everybody. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So I said, oh, like, bro, let me, let me handle it. Mm-hmm. He could have paid off. We could have had a cool. Did they use that in the movie though? The, the car they used the car. No, oh no, the, 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 when it no, down, no, 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 that should have been funny. No, yeah, 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 your car and, still uh, made it food, but you're out. Yeah, <laughs> and so that producer William Green, he, he still calls me back to this day. Nice, oh, nice. damn, and yeah. he's doing really well. Because yeah. I know what you're saying. Because I, I did a lot of casting for. Yeah. I, I was a casting director for a lot of music videos mm-hmm. and movies too, as well. So, the background and stuff. So, uh, I understand when people will tell me stuff. I'd be like, yeah, they're done. Like in my head, like, oh yeah, thank you, ma'am. But in my head, I'm like, you're done. You're done. Yeah. I'm not gonna use you or when we girls. We, we, we don't got time. We don't got job, time for that. Like yeah, it's like here. HR. We, we don't got HR. time for that. You got time because there's a yeah. lot of people that want to be in it, and I'm giving you the opportunity. But yeah, you're gonna act like that. So I just like, you're done. You're done. Like, I, yeah, you're, I, you're, you're, I mean, I because <laughs> I would use uh, not central casting, but LA casting. Yeah. So I would even flag them. Like, you know what? I don't use these people, and I'll see them again. Block, that's a like big. That's a. You, talent don't mean nothing. Looks don't mean nothing. It's that. Yeah. It's it's, it's who you like know. ability. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, so after that, you know, um, but that's when that. But that's when that when Suspect really started going like legit. Like, okay, because when I did Training Day and all that, I didn't have Suspect. It was just me helping people out. Mm. And and my friend Didi, uh, she did the ca- uh, background casting on Training Day, and she would call me to she'd go, hey, come to this party, help me with this opening call. So basically, a lot of people use me, and they never. Mm-hmm. And straight up used me and yeah. burned me. But there's certain cast directors, their producers were like, I'm going to school you and show you what's up and help mm-hmm. you come up. And then also, like, treating me like right, treating me right, right to right. this yeah. day. And yeah. we're friends to this day. And Didi, we would go to all these, you know, we're in Compton, we're in East, we're going to Echo Park doing these big old open call casting. And then one day she goes, Come in my office. And she gave me a bunch of stack of time cards, fill all these out for all those days. And she got me on as a oh. consultant with the cl- actor that Cliff, Ca- oh, Cliff wow. Curtis. In the in that scene wow. at the table, so I got to work with that guy. I'd be on set, meet Denzel, but I already knew Denzel was in character, so I was, I was calling him by his, his um, what's his character name? In Lorenzo. Day? Lorenzo was like, yeah, what? Lorenzo, what? So Lorenzo, like, he was, he was oh, like, you motherfucker! He was like in character, like, <laughs> damn, that's you, dope. You feel that? Yeah. Like, I'm gonna be like, yo, Denzel, and he's in character. Yeah, you're yeah. breaking his character. Yeah. So, um, so that was like a nice feather in my cap, right? Mm-hmm. And then Suspect started and all that. Oh, what have you worked on? Oh, Cypress Hill videos. Oh, for training sure. Day. You had a good little you resume. Know what I mean? I like, Ali G. <laughs> yeah. Ali G, yeah, you know what I mean? Awesome. But like different homies. We're just different homies. And, and, and it didn't matter. And then um, it was a lot of like disappointing stuff, man. A lot of disappointing, a lot of, you know, very disappointing. I was that for 10 years. And then I became a manager where I was getting the breakdowns, where I'm getting in like, I was getting them. <laughs> I wasn't getting them legit, but I was. <laughs> <laughs> Old habits. And I think that's a good that. place to, yeah. I was yeah, say, but on, 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 on that note, it's a good way to break right now. Yeah, yeah. we're going to break real quick. Let's break down the old habits. Yeah, we're going to break down the old habits, but we'll be right back, man, with Manny He Man at Suspect Entertainment. We're going to find uh, out. I'm interested. Breaking down the old habits and where is he Stay going, tuned. man? I heard he has some new stuff, so some new stuff is pending. We'll be right back. Hey, uh, what I'm saying is like this. Look, look. You, you, can, need, be, you, you can be a coyote with your ass. Look, a coyote. Look. Hey, how many family members you got? You know what? I don't hey, say no. Hey, officer. Hey, no, no, no. hey if, you, if you say no, you know what time it is. <laughs> 
Hey, I got six family members. Hey, how many you got? None. <laughs> <laughs> None. Hey, <laughs> hold hey. on. The little toes are hanging out. Hey, <laughs> watch. Hey, hey. By the end of the show, by Those the end of the show, dog. Those are not by the end of the show, you're gonna see his feet hanging out back there. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Fucking Sebastian's oh, gonna be all up in right here. Oh shit! Hey, fuck? hey sácame pendejo. Oh my god, dude. I don't. Hey, where does Sebastian go? You see his feet hanging out of my ass. <laughs> You know what the worst part is? They were shooting a sketch outside, like they were homies in jail. And oh, I did on my story on Instagram, and I go, "Fuck it, am I going? To, am I going to do a podcast or am I getting jumped in?" <laughs> but hey, man, we're back right now. We're back with Manny Jimenez, man, with Suspect Entertainment, and. Uh, yeah, we know. Yeah. We, we are. We're yeah, gonna, we got to have you back. You're going to come back. You have a lot of yeah. knowledge. In, in yeah, heck yeah. And then you, I want you to bring some more guests. And then we yeah. can t- chop it up more. And then and, and you guys experience it. You, and actually, you guys' friendship and how that builds with your d- different people that you bring on and stuff. So, But no, man, we love your vibe and everything, man. I mean, oh, d- I know sometimes you feel like right now you're you're rambling on. But no, dude. like yeah. We're not talking. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Our mouths yeah. dropped. This like, is we're not even talking there. no more. There. I, have to, I have to catch myself. Like, dude, say something in between. I know. <laughs> you, you're not saying anything, Vic. I mean, I, I, could, I, 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 I do that. So no, I it's no, good, no, though. It's because good. It's really that's, good stuff. That's why we have you on the show. Yeah, you really have us. That's what the podcast is for. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's exactly. like that lady said, you, you have something special about yeah, it. You oh. do, yeah, man. Yeah, you, do. you can tell yeah. your vibe and stuff. But I want to get to a little bit more because, yeah, even though Suspect Entertainment, you, it's 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 no more basically, and you gave that up and stuff. But I also, uh, before you get into that, I, I I know you have a spiritual side of you, right? You have a spiritual side. You're a Christian. Yeah, I'm a Christian. I was I grew up Catholic. I'm a Christian, mm-hmm. and uh, my pastor, you know, he was like ex. So he was my mentor first, Pastor C. Okay. He was my mentor first, and then he. Rest in peace. And then he, um, and there was a point where it was like I was doing this thing with for ten years. What I've been telling you, right, right, and kind of going to a lot of parties too, and doing things that I shouldn't have been doing. And and he's like, hey, you need to get to church. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I stopped conviction. The, I, I stopped the huh. gang banging, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. I stopped yeah. the like the, the robbing and stealing. But you all substituted that. it then for something else. I was still else. like, yeah, I was still mm-hmm. like wasn't right in my heart, you know. Um, and then um, like one time I know this, like I I. I I was doing, I stole vouch. I stole blank vouchers, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were going to tell us before the last break? Yeah. Okay. Bit, yeah. <laughs> there's some other stuff that, but yeah. I don't want to get. Let's go with the vouchers. That I, sounds The vouchers are a good story because I can't, I'm not like. The <laughs> no, gover- that's not that bad. The government vouchers can't come after me. <laughs> 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 but, so it's me and me in the wild, but the law under the bus. Hey, damn fool, like damn fool. <laughs> so we're on this movie, crazy. Oh. It's funny. It's funny, but my wife, she, she was on me. So we go to the, we're on this movie, Crazy Beautiful, right? Oh, yeah, Crazy Beautiful. Movie, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Part on it, uh-huh. and one of my other friends did. With Jerry Hernandez. Uh, yeah, and so we, we, get, we go on there, and they're doing it. We're, we go to Malibu to do the, um, do the rehearse, uh, well, wardrobe fitting, right? Mm-hmm. And we're in the trailer and everything, and I see a box. So there's these certain vouchers that already have all the info typed in. Right, yeah, yeah. But there's these ones called session vouchers. I don't know if you, like, there's, I don't think they no, have them anymore, those, but yeah. they were blank. <laughs> Dang. So my conniving mind. I seen the box. I'm like, oh snaps! I go, so you know, you could, you would get booked non-union, and you're non-union. It's like after taxes and after child support, you like <laughs> 30, 40 tax. bucks. Yeah. <laughs> you're really not <laughs> making much. But I was like, oh, but if you pay tag, you're gonna make more money, right? Oh yeah. So I don't know why I get some vouchers, right? So we'll just we'll take them and <laughs> well, he takes like this little stack, and I'm like, fool. <laughs> so I, was, I was wearing one of those big Joker jackets, right? And I just put the vouchers right. Let's roll. I go, hurry up. Pull, do, the, do the fitting fast so we can get the heck. You know, in Malibu, and I'm just holding the big old stack. <laughs> like, and they're right yeah. there, like, going through all the clothes with the watch. I made it. I'm like, hurry up, fool. I got these watches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, like, so I had, so now I'm, like, booking everybody. Because it's easy to book non-union, like, yeah. all day long. So we did a job, like, in India. We're at this thing. And I'm in the, you know how, you know, you know Goodfellas, when he's at the probation officer and, and, and Ray Liotta showing him all the Robert De Niro yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I was on the, on the, on the, on the, on the set. <laughs> I'm in the back. I go, check it out. I got the blank voucher. So I give everybody the get down. You get where everybody's booked non-union. At the end, we're just going to all turn in SAG vouchers. And then everybody was making money. You're making good money. Damn. You're not, you're talking from forty dollars to like three hundred. No, yeah, yeah, definitely dollars a day, yeah. Yeah. and we're like on these jobs sometimes for weeks. So it's like good money, but oh, yeah. at the end of the day, it's stealing. It's yes, yeah, uh, it's stealing. And I had the sta- I had this. That was a pretty big stack. So I had a box. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, 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 it was in a box. Stack to a box. I, 
I know. Huh? <laughs> Damn, how big was me. your jacket? <laughs> <laughs> but the box was in the garage, and I remember oh, my wife kept telling me, "You're messing up. You're messing up. Mm. You're messing the up." Conviction. Yeah, she's just, and I was like, ah, "I was doing that thing again. Like, I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm giving back to the I'm poor. Back, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm robbing her bills. Robbing, yeah, robbing her. And then, <laughs> then after when I started getting in church and all, I just remember the box was still up there. <laughs> I got that box and I just threw it you away. You still had vouchers in there? No, yeah, it was still vouchers. And it was like, we had a Vic's lot of- Vic's mad. Hey, that's how Vic you don't get mad. found out because there's no such thing as vouchers so, no more. Yeah, huh? so then we, I, just got, I got in, threw it away. I ripped them and stuff like, you know, so I started like, I, I got to really- Start a clean house. I got to, yeah, I got to do it. Literally clean house. Yeah, good yeah. for you. Clean yeah. garage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's good, so. man, because- Throw away the temptation, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. No, because after the suspect entertainment, I mean, uh, after like it kind of like dissolved- I mean, there was no more Manny. So, what, what, what did you do, bro? Where, so, what go? I did was I was still managing. So now I wasn't doing like the extra thing. I was doing more gang consulting. Mm-hmm. Oh, so they started okay. calling me mm-hmm. to do gang on uh, movies, and then I was able to negotiate a producer credit, right? And then after I'm doing casting, I'm doing other things, not really managing anymore. But like I was sending the guys out, like Caesar was on Breaking Bad, Fast yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. We would go to the oh. premieres, you know. Had a guy in the um. So yeah, little things still doing gang. doing your thing, like yeah. little. Mm-hmm. It, it, did you use any guys from Homeboy Entertainment? Homeboy Industries. Homeboy Industries? Um, no, I, I didn't. Well, I met Richard Gabral's mom met me when I was already done with Suspect. She's like, meet my son. So I met him, and he was like very starting out, and I just said, bro, just get an acting class. Mm. And then I started seeing him on TV. I'm like, oh, dang, he did it. Oh, wow, <laughs> so yeah. That was pretty cool, you uh-huh. know? But um, and so, yeah, I came from Homeboy Industry, you know? But... Um, it, it, so I was just like, I was on my way out of being, de- so I was done with a big group. Yeah. And then it was getting smaller and smaller, the more serious okay. ones, right? right? So I was still doing that. And I started realizing they don't need a manager. They need a, they need a, they need um, therapy. <laughs> they need a <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Phil. So, so you were like providing them with resources, yeah, like so local now resources? Yeah, like, okay. I would literally, like I set out some, the ones oh, that were wow. real like confrontational, I had to just like do it different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some were like, you were, I felt like you were, they're going to try to <laughs> take off on me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I had to deal with that a little different. But there was someone that's like, hey, are you, you're not, are you really giving it your all? They're like, no. I'm like, come on. You know, mm, you're right. Yeah. I took off. And then that was it. <laughs> then the next one's like, all right, let's go. Right, let's right. Keep it going. Let's keep it going. Do do everything I tell you, right? right. And then um, I'm doing all my. And then my then my like personal career starts like taking off, and I'm like, oh, well, really? Like I need to make. My, so I'm working on other people's movies. Then when the movie's done, we're at the premiere. I'm like, oh man, I don't know. And I'm not gonna name the movies, but <laughs> I was like, oh, that's not really like, I'm not really satisfied, okay. right? So I'm like, yeah. I gotta write. I gotta direct. I gotta do it myself. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. And then I started like. Um, Taking classes at, uh, but I was very low confidence because I I dropped out of school, pity party again. Of course, uh, yeah. I don't know how uh-huh. to wear commas. Self doubt was killing spelling. you. So yeah. I still have it, but not mm-hmm. as much. Mm-hmm. But um, so I, but I started going to. Um, I signed up to UCLA Extensions and started driving. You pay like you know, it's like five six hundred bucks and for like six weeks. Yeah, oh. and, and then They're like accelerated classes, huh? And then yeah, yeah and then you yeah. got like. Um, Pay for the parking is like a whole mm-hmm. another hundred fifty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> but then yeah. you're driving through traffic on a Wednesday. So you got to be committed. Like, you have to be committed. <laughs> yeah. And turn in the. But I got a my first time ever in my whole life. I get an A plus at thirty five. Oh, nice. That's right. So Hell like, yeah. Hey, <laughs> <that's just laughs> so I was like, always in you. Just, <laughs> yeah. I was like, dang, all right. When your kids pop, hey? That's where it counts. Yeah, yeah. That's where it counts. And I was in college when my kids were, you know, um, in the and when their primary grades, and I would brag about my my grades, and they'd be like. Good job, mom, and that made me feel good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, I, yeah at the end of the day, no matter who thinks what of me, the, but my kids yeah. think mm-hmm. it matters. Mm-hmm. That right. matters the most. So now you're now you're just so taking the class and everything. Now you're actually so, writing, producing. Well, so I, what what it taught me? Here's what it taught me because all that stuffs on the inter- internet, right? For mm-hmm. anybody that wants to write, this is what going to UCLA and all because I did like three of them. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit! So I was like, but I was in it, and you know what's funny? I'll sit in the back and have my my backpack full of snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I was the guy. Old habits. Every time there's a break, hey, what you got in there? Like, oh my god! And I was cool. Like, Manny had a store. Right? Yeah. I, was, yeah. I had the store, but I was cool. Was that. I didn't canteen. care about. Man, I wasn't. Yeah. I don't care but you, when you when you connect with another human being, yeah. wherever they are, That's whatever priceless. race, it didn't matter. No, it didn't matter. Yeah, definitely, you know, man. You know, so I so I I got into that and I started like just really got discipline and I'm like I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do and then and then I was like down to the last client, <laughs> which is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm, I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. And I was down to the last client, which was Cesar Garcia. Mm-hmm. And I said, yeah, you know, bro, I think I did everything I can for you, brother. And I discovered him on the street. Like, I give him a card and all that. He mm-hmm. was, somebody hit him up to be on a, a Mary J. Blythe video. And I had somebody on there. And he just did it for like, yeah, all right, I'll do it. And I was like, bro, here's my card. And, and so I would, I would give my old card back. And then people would call. Or they would say, or they'd say, send your picture in. With all, I would yeah, say all the info. Yeah. And they would send their picture in with no phone number. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so like, what the heck? Yeah. Caesar did everything that I asked for. And I remember uh, Alfredo Ramos, director of Road Dogs, he was at my house when I got all the mail, right? And I'm going through all the mail, and I get it, and he had every, he even had a low rider. <laughs> Wow. Oh, yeah. And I and I looked, I told Alfredo, go, this guy's gonna go far. He did everything that I asked. Mm-hmm. And he's still doing it to this day. Nice. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's like 20 years. Mm-hmm. And um, so I tell him, I was like, look, bro, I, I think I did everything I could do. This will help you get an agent, but I'm gonna direct, I'm gonna write something for you. Right? And then the years later I, I started writing and I started directing and I did. And he said he told me, he goes, I didn't I honestly didn't think you were. Wow. Well, like, and he goes, no, nah, I was serious, dude. Yeah. And he's, he's, he was hard to manage, and he knows it. <laughs> they were all hard. It was, it was all hard. It was a challenge. Well, yeah, because it's challenging. <laughs> it's, their, it's their habit. It's, it's everybody's had, habit. All, even myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We all had bad habits. Right. Mm-hmm. But he's the easiest to direct. Mm. As long him as they're I, open, right? Yeah, him and I, yeah, it's something, it's like, I really like, from what I know, how Robert De Niro and Scorsese are, and, and, and Samuel Jackson and Tarantino, him and I are like that, and we both, mm-hmm. we're just locked in. We're locked mm-hmm. in, and we could build a character. That we, we, were, we were just locked in, and um, so he's, my, he's my, my, my guy. But even if I don't have a part for him, he gives me good stuff. He'll read my script and, and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, like, and help you out. Yeah, yeah, he gives me good stuff. But so I, I got into that, and then it was like, Challenging, and then there was a point because I, you know, all the press. We had all this press. Oh man, that was crazy. I didn't even know how to do email, none of that stuff. <laughs> you know, like we're not. All, but the press happened like it's like we went viral with, mm-hmm. without the internet back uh-huh. then. You know, Entertainment Weekly, CNN, the oh, New York wow. Times. I mean, all of that. Boom, boom, back to mm-hmm. back. Cover of LA Weekly. You know, and it's like you know, I'm like I have no idea. It was way overwhelming. I did not, and then one led to another one, and another one, and another one, and Esteban's taking the photos, and then it, it was, you know, everybody it just came out. Well. I, yeah, awesome. every, it was a lot. It was a blessing in disguise, Hell right? Yeah. Everything was but, just coming but, together. But I, I couldn't be anywhere because everybody was jamming me up now. And remember, homies don't know how to jam people up the nice way. I'm like, I remember Singular <laughs> phone? I was at a singer. It was all <laughs> over again. Wireless. Singular wireless. I'm at the <laughs> paying the phone thing, and some homies went, hey, homie, you Manny? You know, Oh man! <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but it's like if someone hit me up and said my old my old gang name, name, then I knew I was like, oh man, there's somebody from my past, so I handled that different. But if they said Manny, then it was like movie stuff. Yeah, you kind of knew. Yeah. yeah. So then he said, I was like, yeah, what's up, man? <laughs> but I was still ready to take off back if I had to. He goes, <laughs> and he's like, no, he's like, I sent you an email, homie. He like, <laughs> you know, you never got. You haven't responded. You <laughs> never got back to me, and I was like, oh, all right, I'm here now. Yeah. What do you need? You know, I, mean, mm-hmm. oh, I want to be an actor. So I said, all right do this and this and this mm-hmm. put in the subject we met a singular like i'm gonna you know, <laughs> we met send it back. <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i'm gonna get back to you because we're face to face and i tell him what to do and he never did it so you oh, know, yeah. but, but i was getting committed. jammed up like that mm-hmm. you know well, you I, know what i respect about you is when you email or message you give directions and it's like very clear if you don't mm-hmm. follow them then it's up to you. You know, you, yeah. you fucked up. You dropped the ball. Or you smoked too many drugs or whatever. Yeah, but yeah, you're, you're yeah. already setting it up for someone else because when you go with them big producers, they're asking for the same thing, right? Yeah, 100%. You're training I, I, them. I, I you're could, tra- you're I mean, training them. I'm still managing in a sense without being technically their right. manager, but I'm mentoring now. So that's what the decision mm-hmm. I made. I go, oh, I could still do all the what I'm doing. I don't have to worry about somebody burning me now. I could still do this out of the goodness of my heart to help our people. Mm -hmm. And then, like what my pastor said, he said, we got to be like in roller derby, you know, where we're throwing each other up. (laughs) You slingshot. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Shake and bake. We're like, boom, (laughs) boom. That's what we all have to be, but not everybody's like that. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't, so that's what I decided. Okay, I'm going to be a filmmaker. That's going to be my thing. And I'm going to keep doing what I was doing in the suspect thing, helping people. Mm -hmm. And if some cool talent comes out that I might direct, that's a the bonus, but if not, I'll still keep helping people. Yeah, keep right? pushing yeah, and pushing yeah. them through. That's and, dope, and, and that's what I'm saying. I started writing, and and I'll just say I, I wrote. Now, Suspect Entertainment is now gonna be well, not not anytime soon. Maybe like a few more years, but mm. I all, everything I went through, all the headaches, became therapeutic, and I wrote a script. Oh, see, that's great. Called wow. Suspect Entertainment. Oh, wow. wow. Every single thing that happened uh. to me 
became so funny and therapeutic and healing. I love that. Not only it from the movie. suspect days, uh -huh. and then I not only did I write the suspect TV show, then I ran and wrote a fictional '90s version of my life of all that dark stuff. Mm -hmm. Fictional. Wow. And then I wrote stuff for my teenagers, so I got a feature film out of it, uh, a, a, a drama, and then a, a comedy, half hour comedy. Yeah. And now finally, because I worked on my craft so much, that I'm getting the response. I'm getting great response oh, to that's it. Great. Wow. But. I'm being stubborn that I'm not going to do it unless it's done right. Mm -hmm. no, no, you have no, to be. No, that's yeah. your baby, that's man. Right. That's it. You have to be done. It has right. to be done right. Well, when you uh, go, for, you know, when you're going to do the casting for the 90s thing, like, we're about it. So I'm just saying. She has her eyebrows for real. If you need a cool grandma, <laughs> like, I'm a grandma, so I know how to be a grandma. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just kidding. No, I mean. Dang, she's already <laughs> casting herself, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, we switch. But you so. gotta do that though. You gotta put it out there. Like, hey, I, I'm yeah, yeah. your guy. So, is this where Manny's headed now? This is what oh, you're. This is awesome. the projects that you're gonna be 100%, 100%. doing, and you're sticking to it. And and I just got with the manager, somebody that I, I've been working uh -huh. with this manager um, for a while, and then I, I say. And, I, and something fell apart. It's crazy. If something falls apart, something good always right. comes out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, like, I, let me just tell the story. This is important. I was trying to get this project. We were basically trying to shoot a, a, a little 15 minute piece of a sample of the suspect thing, right? Mm -hmm. And I started working with this kid. I posted about him, Frankie, Frankie yeah. Hernandez from Santa Maria. And he had been hitting me up for a while, for like three years on Instagram. And I would follow him. And I'm like, oh, he's a family guy, right? Because mm. there's a few people that we know. I'm not going to say their names, but oh, I give them, hey, well, read the script. I had them in mind, never read it, never got back to me. Okay, mm. I'm not going to be chasing. Frankie was on top of it. Mm. Frankie was on top of it. So I, I start, you know, it's, I still get calls for casting things. I'm friends with casting directors. Hey, man, you know, da, da. Not, no fee, nothing. Just, yeah, let me see what I could, you know. And then people are like, oh, but it was the Super Bowl or it wasn't big. I'm like, you're not serious, bro. Frankie was, bro, I stayed home all week, all week and did this like 100 times. I'm like, all right. And then it turned out, oh, yeah, we met five years ago at a gang comp gang intervention conference so crazy. and i'm like wow we were meant to work together you and frankie me and frankie so now i'm working and he's, he's coming three days out of the week driving three hours over here three hours home mm -hmm. to go to acting class and rehearse with me Dang. You know, like this dude and he's a he's and he's in the yeah. union at a, works at a gas company and he has a detailing side job and he has four kids Dang. wow like yeah. bro like no yeah. Excuse no like yeah no excuses and, and, and he's 20 years he's he's turned 28 you went from 20 to 29 and i went from 40 to 49 oh, and when wow. we first like reconnected in person mm -hmm. we're like uh you, you, you know you, you got a room like in Almani and then we're like running across to get the yellow he was like yeah oh, you're youthful <laughs> well, I was like man oh, you know, I gotta keep up with the young, <laughs> yeah. youngsters you know but he was like an old soul like man you yeah. feel like a 90s guy and then he didn't know who Fonzie was and he lost points oh. Oh. <laughs> he didn't know who the I said, what the you don't know who dude, then I know you don't know who Happy Indian. days, man. Come on, man. But, you know, so, yeah, that was a little joke I got on him. But but working with him and then, so working, with, so I reached out to Jerry for the same project. And then Jerry Garcia, and he's like, oh, I've been meaning to talk to you, man. I've been mentoring this kid. He's from HP. He's out there. I know that that's what you do. And he connected with me. And we finally got together mm -hmm. on Saturday. The project fell apart. It wasn't about the project the whole time. It was about it me, was me, me, like Frankie. Oh. Yeah. Me working wow. Frankie. And it was about Jerry connecting me with this other youngster right, who's right. 17 in the hood that wants to do this. They put him in the movie, uh, uh, the Orchata movie. Okay. okay. This, the, uh -huh. uh, this kid, Brandon, the little youngster. And I, and, me, and and he lives back at Huntington Park where I, back where I, it was like full circle. Really? Wow. I'm back at the park where I used to go break dance. And I was, I was crying the night before because I'll uh -huh. start thinking of my cousins and my childhood. And I'm with this kid walking on the park and I looked him in his eyes. I took my glasses. Like I looked him in his eyes. I go, I'm going to help you like you're my own son. Uh -huh. Right? I said, mm. if you do, I go, not, it's not if. Mm. I go, if you do every single thing that I'm telling you to do, you will become a working actor. I go, we're not talking about movie star. Forget mm -hmm. the movie star. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. do everything I tell you, mm -hmm. you'll be a working actor and you'll be able to make money and help your family and help you. Mm -hmm. I go, but you have to do everything that I tell you. Mm -hmm. And the first order of business, we went through everything because he asked me, hey, can I drink and smoke? And mm -hmm. I said, no, nah, we'll get to that. So I tell him my whole story. I got a little more raw with him than usual because, mm -hmm. you know, I, I needed to. But it's off Instagram. I don't do the like, all that. No, no, yeah, yeah. And, and we this got real. One. And then and he, at the end, we get to the 
putting in work, working on your stuff, because real acting is therapy, writing mm -hmm. is therapy. And he goes, oh, I'll be too busy and I won't even want to drink or smoke. I go, boom. Boom, mm. you answered your own yeah. question. Boom. You answered wow. You got it. Yo, I like yeah. that. You I like know that. what I'm saying? So guess what? The next, so I ha you got to clean, you got to get a clean email. You got to clean Instagram. Oh, I told him overnight he did it. I'm like, he's going to be, and he did his goals. You know, on, you know, on your notes on the iPhone, you could share yeah. the notes. I said, okay, we're going to share them. And then he, and my wife and I were watching him write the notes, his goals. Hell yeah. Good yeah. for him. And, he, I, and, he, and, and the goals he had, I want to come up so I could help others. So I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. He's getting it. He got or it. it. It's, already, 20, it's, it's, already, years. it's already in him. Uh -huh, it's yeah. for us to guide yeah. him now. Right. That's exactly. right. Just right. Well, you guys that's what being a mentor you know? is about. So none of this yeah. thing with this thing that fell apart is not even yeah, about, that. about that. Because yeah. me and Jerry were talking about this thing, and he goes, I've been meaning to get at you. There's this kid. Yeah. And then he, we Jerry, had Jerry on the show, too. Yeah, yeah man. And I... I, I we, you know, I, was, I love that. His comedy is funny. Mm -hmm. But I already met. We were friendly on texting and phone. But then I met him Saturday. And it was a blessing because we're helping this kid. And that's yeah. what it's all about. Yeah. So all the projects that I told you that I'm doing, it's not about entertainment, none of that. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, 30 days, you want, I want to be the director. I want to make money. Yeah. I want the big house. <laughs> yep. It ain't it about big, that. Yeah. We're all going to die. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm yeah. saying? We can't take none of it we're, with we're us. We're not taking none of this, <laughs> yeah. but we could leave yeah. something. Look at how Legacy. a Bronx tale still affects me to this day. Mm -hmm. Outsiders still touches my heart, yeah. and I'm picking up on stuff because I'm older now, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. First, you're like looking at it from the kids' yeah, point of view. It. Now you're yeah. like at the adults' point of view, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's yeah. a time yeah. where I'm looking at it from Sonny's point of view, and Lorenzo's. You know, now I'm looking yeah. at it from the dad's point of view. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. so, so this whole thing is about that leaving projects to bless others, to to help touch their heart. Right, I love it. To, to, to bring them in there and be, oh, I'm gonna yeah. see this gangster movie. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna yeah. take you for a ride. And then we go, <laughs> and then like by the time they leave, three, this three things, you either are like, I'm, I'm never getting involved in the gang life, or man, I need to get out of this, or I'm glad I made it out of this, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go make sure more people see this. Yeah. Nice. That's the wow. goal. That's the goal. That's the so, goal. That's, that's the goal, that's man. And I love out. it, man. And. You know, wh before we go, Manny, where can they find you at, man? What's your oh, Instagram? At, or your... At, um, just at Manny Jimenez. At Manny Jimenez. M A N N Y J I M E N. Easy. <laughs> He's a, yeah, We're going to put it right yeah, there for everybody. So they can yeah, see. yeah, we'll put it right there for everybody. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm just YouTube. TikTok. I don't do the dancing thing. I might do, <laughs> yet, pop, I might do some pop locking. <laughs> uh, but um, but and, and Instagram's the main thing. And um, and then I wrote in the, and, I, and when people ask, oh, I want to be an actor, hook me up. They really want a lot of them just want to get hooked up, you know. Yeah. But I got an email, a, a post that I posted with all the steps. Oh, nice. So I just copy and paste send yeah. it to them. That's what you can do. Yeah. I mean, so man, it's all there. Any last words, man, into this camera, man? If anybody's saying, you know, hey, I want a new life. Can you help me? What would you tell me now? Uh, be committed. Be committed, and be and be co be committed to that change, and know that it's gonna be very hard. Um, like I lost my mom, my grandma, my stepdad, cousin. It's it's gonna be the hardest thing. In, like life is so hard, and it's gonna be hard. But you're gonna get stronger and stronger mm -hmm. and stronger. Life is never gonna get easier. Mm -hmm. So you keep committed, and you stay on the right path. And then you're going to, like, the real success to me is finding peace in life. Mm. That is the real success. Oh, that's right. That's so right. if you find peace, whether you're a writer or an actor or a lawyer or, I mean, mechanics are, you know, you could be a, a, a good, honest mechanic because we know there's a lot of mm -hmm. people that are not honest. That's right. So you could be a mechanic and you're blessing people with your honesty and not burning them. So whatever it is that you do, just do it with full integrity. Mm -hmm. And, um... Yeah, I mean, I think that's it. But be, man, be good to your, forgive yourself. It's important. That's right. Forgive, forgive yourself. yourself. Yeah. I love that, man. Yeah, that's really dope. Wait, that's uh, words, guys? Yeah, I know. I mean, just, just your words. Like, you, you don't, you speak from the heart. Like, everything that you say is with conviction. And I can tell, like, by your words of choice that you've been through a lot. And it shows. And, oh. and for me growing up, I knew that, like, being vulnerable was not a good thing or not a cool thing. Mm -hmm. But as I get older vulnerability is everything when it comes to your character that's right mm -hmm. so thank you for showing us your character and, and being vulnerable and and, and trusting in us that's and, right and just thank you for all oh, that thank you, you guys for thank having you for all that no you thank you man yeah. oh i just want to thank you man for coming on but usually i'm the loud mouth the joker yeah. <laughs> i can't too. stop talking <laughs> you shut his you, mouth you today. shut my mouth today. Yeah. but you know because i wanted this message to be heard so. yeah 
100%. Yeah, thank you thanks, very much. Thanks. I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you, dude. I mean, like, like I said, you, you you put it out there. I mean, I'm I, I'm not saying I'm following every step, but I, I'm, I'm getting there. No, yeah. no. I'm getting there, you know? It takes no, a man. Lot. I yeah. a lot tonight. All of you guys, this is really, you guys are doing the same thing. <laughs> you, you're blessing people. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. That's, that's, that's what we're going to do, man. Energy. I just want to say thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Thank you. Thank yeah, thank you, man. Back. So, man, on that note, man, because wow. right now Catch I feel like we're all going to do. Yeah, we're going to do a group hug right now <laughs> or something. But on that <laughs> note, man, <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in. Jared, the crew, we will see you guys next week. And we will oh. have him back. Yes. Yeah, we'll have him back. Boy, he will be back. We continue. <laughs> hey, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. But check it out, man. There's still a few more things you need to do. You got to like, you got to share, you got to subscribe. Guys, right. just subscribe. click it. It's so easy. Just click it. Leave some comments. Yes, leave some I, comments, I mean, Janet. Last time you left a little too many comments. I know I look a little pudgy. <laughs> I'm working on that. But I mean, what do you guys want to see on the show? What, I mean, any recommendations? Right. Yes. Through this year, we're going with some different things, man. If you guys want to check out some restaurants, any kind of nightclub, let us know. Give us your we're feedback. We're listening.